Welcome to Business Amplified with host Kevin A. Dunlap. This podcast is for small business owners aiming to amplify their enterprises. Explore strategies to play a bigger game by becoming an author, public speaker, podcast host, or expanding your brand in other ways. Elevate your business on Business Amplified. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome back to Business Amplified. This is a, a, a show. It's all about you pushing your boundaries. We're talking talk about you uh, doing something different in order for you to get better successes in your business as well as in your life. And today I have another gentleman. Uh, he's also from overseas. He's from the, the he's actually from Prague in the Czech Republic. His name is Milan. And Milan, welcome to the show. Glad to be here. So, so tell us, uh, uh, Milan, who are you? What is it you, that you do and why do you do that? Do you know how many people think they are prepared for retirement, but actually are not? You can expect to live 20 to 30 years in your retirement, even more if you are healthy. So why is nearly nobody preparing for it? Are you worried about how you will transit into retirement? What does retiring well look like to you? I am Milan Schwarzkopf, Purposeful Retirement Coach, teaching how to best arrange and live through retirement. I focus on multiple areas of life, finance, health, relationships, life purpose. I believe everyone deserves a healthy, wealthy, happy, and fulfilled retirement. I teach people to retire with no fear of how they will transit into their third act of life. I help help people who are thinking about retirement, planning for retirement, or are already in retirement. Yep. Okay. Well, I I, I do know that, like, from an example, just from my father's perspective, when he retired. Uh, I think one of the things that helped him have a, a, a much longer life, like maybe 20 or 30 years after he uh, f- physically retired, that he started another side business. And that gave him focus. It, g- it gave him um, something to do on a daily basis. Uh, do, you, do you see that when people retire? Uh, do they, uh, need, uh, would, one of the things that they will talk to them about would be to find another focus or another purpose rather than just getting up, going to the grocery store and watching TV all day? Exactly, I fully agree. Uh, it seems that most people are mostly interested how they will survive financially in retirement, are preparing financially, some of them good, some of them not that good, but it is only part of the overall picture. You should be also preparing from the health point of view, your relationships, and most importantly, Uh, you should be uh, looking for your new life purpose for retirement, not based on work anymore. This one seems to be mostly overlooked. It's one of the hardest and one of the most necessary. Because as people say, once TV, coach and fridge becomes your best friends, you are on the quick road to grave. Okay. And you say you, you work, help them uh, uh, financially. Is that through financial investments? Is it through a retirement plan of some sort? Or, uh, how, or how, do you, how do you do that? Uh, I don't go to details. The first step, in my view, is to recognize the importance of retirement preparation. This is one of the tasks which is not urgent, but very important. And people have tendency to neglect it until it's too late. In my view, financial preparation for retirement takes at least 15, maybe 20 years. The later you start, the harder it is to build a reasonable uh, portfolio. And in my experience, uh, at least what I I have done, when I have built some some, uh, level of wealth, Uh, I uh, searched for a professional portfolio manager. I I am with them for more than 25 years already. They have saved me from two financial crises already. I have my my portfolio fully diversified with them. They have huge uh, analytics background. Uh, They are somehow able to foresee the trends. And I fully rely on their help and their opinion. 
I am sometimes playing with some with some smaller investments myself, but only up to several percent of my total portfolio. The majority is professionally managed by an independent financial advisor or portfolio manager. Okay. Now, does this involve uh, dealing with the the local stock markets, or because uh, I, I know there's a lot of uh, retirement plans, at least in the in the United States, that is going to be based upon uh, the New York Stock Exchange or the Nasdaq. Now, you're in the Czech Republic. Um, how how does that work there? Is it based upon uh, that, or is it based upon some other kind of index? I have nearly nothing in the Czech Republic. Uh, our stock exchange is uh, pretty small and not interesting. So my advisor uh, always believes in diversification. So I have uh, different instruments starting from uh, ETFs, uh, bonds, uh, some small amount of hedge funds, diversifies between different currencies, Czech crown, US dollars, uh, British pound, uh, geographical uh, diversification, uh, and so on. I have many instruments. I understand some of them. I don't understand the rest of them. I fully rely on their professional level. Well, that's the, and that's the thing. Uh, I'm glad you kind of mentioned that, that you don't have to be the expert yourself. Uh, and when, when, when you're looking at, at the retirement, but you need to get with somebody that you can trust and, f and feel that they're that they can have uh, make those decisions for you, because I may know nothing about Forex or cryptocurrency or you know, or any of those other uh, those other values. But if I'm working with somebody that that is the expert, that is what they do. That's what they do on a daily basis. So exactly. that, that, I'm glad that you say that you don't you don't have to learn all of this on, on your own. Uh, I don't have a chance to learn everything. Even if I did, I have education, I have an MBA, so I know how the financial uh, considerations are done. But uh, first, it's not my full-time job. Second, I don't have the tools, the analytical tools, professional tools, which are pretty expensive. And uh, it's not my full job, so I rely on, on professionals. Okay. And what do you think are some of the biggest uh, uh, hurdles or challenges uh, your clients or your, you know, your, uh, yeah, the people that you work with, what are, the, what are some of the biggest hurdles that they uh, deal with? Uh, you mean from the financial point of view or all pillars? Um, I'm, I'm just talking about you from the financial uh, point of view. Because you, you said they, they should be doing this for at least 15 or 20 years before they retire. But if somebody's not getting started until, like, say, in their 50s or maybe even, uh, even later than that, um, they would have to, I would assume they have to take a, a bigger risks you know, because it's much later uh, in, their, uh, in their career or in, in their uh, retirement plan. You have basically mentioned two uh, mistakes. The first one was realizing too late, it is important, starting too late. It is maybe the most common uh, problem people have. And the second one is uh, they might be following bad advice or taking too much risks. Uh, preparation for retirement is a uh, uh, long run. Uh, you must uh, use long-term instruments. Uh, you must consider, uh, you must, uh, with each investment, there are three variables connected, risk, okay. profit, and uh, liquidity. So with retirement investments, you don't need a high uh, profit, you need low risk, and you don't need high liquidity. And this is what your financial advisor will help you to evaluate and select the appropriate instruments. Okay. Well, because I've talked to a few financial advisors over the years, and, uh, and and most of them are saying they should uh, that people should start when they're let's say in their teens or even in their twenties. You know, start um, much early on, even though most people in their twenties are not even thinking about retirement because of the oh that's not for another few decades. Exactly. It's quite enough to start in your mid-age when you have uh, solved your basic uh, family requirements. You have uh, at least partially repaid your mortgage. So this uh, you are near the top of your career. 
maybe this is the latest time when you should start preparing for retirement as well. No, I mean, uh, I, I do know, at least in the United States, we had a, a thing called a 401k. Uh, it was, and those were, I, I think were, you know, there were the retirement plans that, that the company set up, you know, with the employees, but they, those kind of, kind of not phased out, but they, you know, they were giving less and less priority over the last, say, 30 or 40 years. Because it used to be, I know, like in my dad's day, for every dollar that he put into retirement through the company, the company would match $1. And then it got to the point where it's for every one, two dollars I put in, they will match one dollar. And then it just got worse and worse and worse from there. Uh, do you do you guys in the UK or uh, in in the Czech Republic also have something like uh, like that, a four hundred one k plan, or do you you may call it something different? And nearly all countries have such a plan. It is called SSA, Social Security Administration, Administration in US. Different countries have uh, different names for it. But generally, in my opinion, it has some problems. First of all, it doesn't allow you to build portfolio big enough. You cannot rely on the state to take care of you for retirement. There are another problems with uh, these systems. For instance, here in the Czech Republic, there is a law that these uh, systems cannot be negative in any year. They must be at least at zero or positive. From that follow, they are able to invest only in uh, government bonds. So you are relying on government by paying social taxes to government, then <laughs> buying their bonds using the system again. There is uh, nearly zero diversification. They are nearly no long-term instruments. And um, first of all, I have a whole chapter in my book about this. Uh, first of all, I for a long time don't believe that the unwritten agreement with the government works anymore. We had mm -hmm. a uh, hidden agreement that we will work, we will pay taxes, and then the state will take care of us. This is not true anymore for many reasons, demographic reasons, political reasons. So I did take care for a long time that I will be dependent during retirement on the government as least as possible. If I get some pension, it's good, and I am getting a decent pension, but it's by far uh, not full retirement preparation which I had. Most of the portfolio I have saved for myself, invested my, for myself, it is within my decision. I'm not dependent on political decisions uh, that mm. much. So I mean, so if I'm reading uh, in between the lines, whatever uh, your um, your company or the government that you're um, that, that you're paying the, in the taxes or, or with the company that you're working with, that's not going to be enough. You still need to do something on your own. Definitely, yeah. definitely. I don't okay. know how any, they, any sorry. And I say, and before the show, you you mentioned about that you had a book. Could you tell me tell us a little bit about your book? Yes, sure. I have uh, prepared a book, which is uh, nearly done and will, will be published this month. It is called "Living Your Best Third Act: How to Be Healthy, okay. Wealthy, and Happy in Your Retirement." Don't make the mistakes most people do. Okay, I believe you. And that's going to be available it. on Amazon. It will be available on Amazon, both paperback and Kindle and tablet electronic version. Okay, and just so that everybody knows, because if you're not if you're not listening to, uh, to the show in February of 2024, that's when it's coming out. So if you're already listening to the show, there's a good chance it's already out. Uh, so if you wanted to get your copy, go go ahead and and go there. We, we will put it down in the show notes, uh, so you can go and get your get your own copy. No, I, I will say that uh, in the United States, at least as far as I know, too many people are are, are uh, if they don't if if they don't plan, they're planning to fail. There, there's an old saying, and this goes more into coaching, but this is the same thing could be uh, true with your retirement. 
is that if you if you fail to do any kind of financial plan, then you are planning to, uh, to fail. You will you 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 will most likely outlive your money. And and the thing is, you need to start uh, considering that now. And somebody like Milan here uh, would, is a perfect person to, to be talking to. And then uh, so I, I definitely reach out to him. Uh, so so uh, Milan, as you've been, to, how long have you been in business? As the time of this recording. It depends on business. Which business do you mean? I have been a senior project manager, managing big international and global projects, mainly in IT and banks, for more than 30 years. I was thinking about retirement preparation because of the mainly because of that and big differences in taxation between an employee and a contractor. I became a contractor. I have established both a sole trader license and limited company. Uh, I uh, saved my money. I didn't spend it all and I have invested that. Uh, one day I realized I am serving for years longer than necessary. So I did again some calculations and I uh, retired. Uh, and uh, I was actually going through all these problems which I am describing in the book, mainly uh, some health problems because of very high stress from those projects. So I decided to recover my health, some uh, relationships problems with my ex-wife. So I learned how to maintain and improve your relationships. By the way, the financial preparation should be started at least 15 or 20 years in advance. Mm -hmm. All the other four pillars, uh, three pillars, can be started anytime. You can improve your relationships anytime, even before the re retirement, even during the retirement. The same is true for health. You can improve your health and live a healthy lifestyle anytime. I have a whole chapter about that in my book. And I was struggling with life purpose. Nearly everyone who has a big life purpose in work, in business, when losing this life purpose, it is very hard. And even I was preparing for myself, I must ad admit, it was hard. And one, so I was looking, was looking for new purpose. Again, I found new hobbies, new sports. But uh, many people in retirement find at least partially the new purpose in helping others. Mm -hmm. So I, so did I. I became a certified coach and uh, after looking around, I thought I have a uh, big knowledge about retirement preparation. I was looking about some literature about that. I found uh, there is no book uh, which would comprehensively describe this problem. At least I didn't find any book. So I mm -hmm. read many books, watched many webinars, uh, bought many books on Amazon. And uh, I have combined my knowledge and my experience into this book, which is, I must admit, part of my life purpose for retirement, to hand over my knowledge to other people and to help them to prepare. And the thing is, that book will, will be able to help other people uh, for years in the future, even after after you, that you may pass away, you can still be out there helping people. So that is, to me, one of the biggest reasons why I feel that if you're going to be a professional in your in in, in your business, regardless of what your business is, becoming an author is by far one of the best ways to do that. And and I see this all the time. That I, mean, I don't know if this is true or not. I heard it from somebody, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna uh, say it over and over again until I, I'm proven otherwise. But it's like the the, the word author, and that 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 word is derived from the word authority. So if you if you become an author and you've got good contests, it's like Milanjo was just saying that he would found he looked for a multitude of books on a particular subject that that, that combined all the things. He realized I can I cannot find a book on it. And then what does he do? He goes out and writes the book on it. He goes and fills in that piece. So that to me is ingenious. 
and and I feel that this is true for anybody. Uh, I'm as for as for myself, uh, I'm a four time author myself, and when I wrote my fourth book, it was uh, it was called Launch the A to Z Creating a Successful Business, and it was all about all the little nuances that you most people as they're in, in America. I'm sure it's a lot of, a lot of the information will translate to other countries, but uh, it's to have them go through all the nuances from hey, I got an idea of writing a, a starting a business to doing all the stuff from your business plans. Your let's talk about your. Uh, uh, your vision statements, your mission statements, uh, all of the other things that go in, uh, into your business. Uh, nobody's written a book about this, so I went and wrote the book. So if you're looking to do some kind of stuff with financial planning, I would strongly suggest uh, to go ahead and and uh, go onto Amazon, at least if you don't buy the book. Uh, well, you can, you see, he says he's got the print version as well as the Kindle version. So regardless of how you digest books, he's got it, uh, he's, he's got it available uh, for you. And if you're thinking about retirement, definitely go in and, and get a book like this. At least peruse it on Amazon, so you know what, what, what's available. And then if it if it rings, if, if it resonates with you, then go ahead and download that book. And you can start reading that book in the same day that you made that decision. If you're getting the the uh, the electronic version of it, because that would just download it into your device, your computer, whatever, and you can start reading that book right there. So, so I'm I, I'm glad that you made that decision, Milan. That's a, that's a, that's a very very powerful thing that you did there. So, congratulations on that. Thank you. Um, now, um, if, if somebody was wanting to uh, work with you or get a hold of you, uh, what are some, some of the best ways for them uh, to do that? Uh, so, if you buy my book, there are also links where you can find me. Uh, you can even pre-order my book on my web pages, www.thirdacresources.com. Okay. You can you can find me on LinkedIn. And okay. I, I have an email address, melanschwarzkov at gmail.com. Okay. But maybe the well, most important link. Would... Link is www.thirdactresources.com. You can make a retirement preparation quiz there. You can enter your name and email address, uh, which is hidden on, uh, under the button Order the Book, and you will get a notification when the book is launched. Okay. Okay. So that's if I heard, if I heard you right, that's going to be at thirdactresources.com? Yes. Okay, there we go. So go to uh, uh, www.thirdactresources.com to go ahead and uh, uh, you can pre you can get that links for the book. You also do uh, schedule time with them as well as do these uh, some of these quizzes that uh, if I heard him uh, correctly, so that you can start seeing where you are in your financial uh, situation as far as that is because it goes. Now, I would like to stress, uh, don't. Please don't concentrate only the financial preparation, with, which is one of the most them. common errors. Concentrate on all four pillars with your preparation. Thank you. <laughs> oh yes, I, I, absolutely. Because yeah, because I, I know with uh, with my dad, he did not eat very well. So I mean, he would be eating, you know, uh, canned sardines or not sardines, uh, canned uh, uh, hot dogs or something, something like that. Like, Dad, you can't be eating this kind of stuff. So, yes, your your health is definitely uh, is going to be uh, of importance. And then also, like you said, your, your relationships. Your and 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 when uh, Milan is saying relationships, uh, I know in my third book I talked about uh, I talked about mindset, and, and a lot of the mindset is also about relationships. And, and there's more than just the relationships that you have with your significant other or your children. There's also going to be the, the relationship with yourself. And that to me is probably one of the most important ones. That's the one that, in my opinion, that most people uh, I forget about or they don't think about. Because they, they will talk to themselves in a negative way, like, damn, you're so stupid. Or, or you, know, so that is, you want to make sure you have a healthy relationship, not only with other people, but also with yourself. Would you agree with that, Milan? Definitely. And... On top of that, you should take care of uh, not only your relationships with your significant other, but with a broader network. And you should include even the far networks. You should not close yourself into a social bubble. You should be in contact with other people who will show you different horizons. 
uh, who will basically force you to think about many things, not only from your point of view. And this is a thing which is very healthy for your brain. The older you are, the more you need that. Well, I had a, a, a mentor one time, and he, one of the things that he said was uh, to, to keep your mind sharp and keep your mind active is to is to try to do something new, uh, if not every day, at least a, a few times a week. So for an example, if you're used to going to the grocery store and you say you're driving to the grocery store, go to a different grocery store or take a different path just to give you give your mind uh, uh, some uh, you know some new energy just so you can like, instead of taking go you know getting on Main Street and turning on Third, why don't you get on Fifth and then and then V Street? You know those are irrelevant names, but just do something differently every day. That way you'll keep yourself sharp as well as focused, and, and that to me will help with your not only with your health but also your your own uh, your own mindset. Definitely. Okay. Well, uh, I'm, I'm a lot. Uh, are there any other um, things that you would like to share with the audience as far as uh, living a health, uh, healthier and better, uh, even more, and even a more financially rewarding life? Is there anything else that you would like to share with us? Maybe for most important is to realize in time the importance of this topic. Do the first step, even the small one, and start your preparation and improve each day on this way. Okay, well, there you say it, or there you go. Well, Milan, I wanna say thank you for being on the show today. Um, again, people uh, go to um, uh, thirdactresources.com to uh, get a copy of the book, as well as to do uh, do his quiz so we can find out you know, where he could possibly help you out. And uh, Milan, I wanna say thank you for uh, being with us today. And any last words before we go? No, thank you for inviting me. It was my pleasure and keeping my fingers crossed to everyone who wants to prepare for their healthy, wealthy, happy and purposeful retirement. And purposeful is very, very important. That that, that I would I strongly agree. Because I, I think, because uh, I don't know about, again about uh, uh, about the Czech Republic, but I know a lot of people uh, in the United States they tend to let's say pass away within two or three years after retirement, and I think the, the one of the main reasons that is 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 because of that purpose. And we talked a little bit about that already, but it, that purpose becomes very very important. Fully agree. Yes. Okay. Well, uh, again, everybody, thank you for joining us. If you are uh, on the show, if you'd like to be on the show as a, one of our potential guests, go ahead and schedule a 15-minute pre-interview. That's going to be at uh, uh, www.businessamplified.net forward slash pre-interview. And that will schedule a 15 minute time where you and I can be talking with each other and we'll find out you know, what is your unique take so we can have you on a future show. So again, Milan, thank you for uh, uh, joining us today. And I uh, and I wish you well in, uh, in your book launch. Or by the time this the thing by the time this is aired, uh, is it, it, it with the continuation of the sales in your uh, of your book. Thank you. Okay, well, everybody, until next time, be Bye. amazing. Thanks for tuning in to another empowering episode of Business Amplified with Kevin A. Dunlap. If you found value in today's insights, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and share the podcast. Keep amplifying your business. And remember, your success journey is our inspiration. Until next time on Business Amplified, go out there and make your business thrive.